Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the Bi Weekly Contest 76. Number of ways to buy pens and pencils. So, this one can really be very tricky, to be honest. Uh, the, num- the thing I would say is look at the constraints. Um, and some of it is a little bit meta as well, in the sense that this is a Q2, so how hard could it be, right? That logic has pro- uh, cost me some stuff in the past, but for this one, it worked out okay, and most often it does. Otherwise, you would stop using that logic. But uh, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this forum. Uh, but yeah, but the idea is that okay, because total and cost, or both costs are less than ten to the six. What you you think about? Okay, let's say I do a uh, naive algorithm where I'm ready, before Z, just try everything in the algorithm. How long would that take, right? Well, obviously, if you take n square, then 10 to the 6 square is probably too slow. So no good, no bueno. But if you could do it in just 10 to the 6 time and all of cost of one time, then that will be good enough. Because in that case, the worst case, if you do some for loop, total will be 10 to the 6, cost is 1, cost 2 is also 1, and then you just do for loops and it will be 10 to the 6, right? So that's basically the idea and that's the analysis that I did during the contest. And then the code is as simple as this. Um, you have a thing that you return. This is the current, um, current amount of money that you spent on cost one, which I forget which one's pens and which one's pencil, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, but then now, so you count the number of ways to, to um, you count the number of ways that there are pencils. So that's basically the idea. Uh, yeah, because for example, if this divides by, this is the number, the, the amount of money you have left and how much each pencil costs. And yeah, let's say you could buy five pencils. That means that you go zero, one, two, three, four, five, and that's six numbers. So that's hence the plus one. And then you just add to the current cost. Um, I probably could have done this loop a little bit differently, but that's fine, right? So yeah. Um, cool, cool, cool. I think the one thing that I should have tested, um, uh, no, I guess this is the test actually, never mind. But yeah, but this is going to be all of, this is going to be all of the cost one because yeah, because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You, you iterate this at most cost one uh, times. Uh, well, maybe I, I said it wrong. Maybe total over cost one. But eh, roughly either total or cost one. Maybe to all of total is my, a better way of putting it. Um, because, yeah, cost one could be one and total. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and in terms of space, obviously this is you know, all one because we what we do is just have a couple of constants. But uh, but yeah, let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live during the contest now. <laughs> Would have been a sad five minutes if I. This is why we test. That's not right, is it? Oh, 
This is definitely not right. Forget such a core component. I guess you can buy zero zero, that's why I have it this way. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problems. Uh yeah. Uh Happy holidays, there's uh, happy Easter, happy Passover, and happy Ramadan, happy Thai New Year, and probably missing a few. Let me know if I missed them in the comments. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.